And you can catch extra butter right here on ABC 10 every Friday at 9.30 a.m. with Mark S. Allen. And guess what? He's right here in our studio right now. No, it's it's MSA, everybody. I have a can confession. I get some cheers? Marcus Allen, woo! Oh, right here. Okay. These guys, the music you had in here, you need them as a They're house great. band every day. Thank you. I have a confession to make. Can I what? tell you something? Yes. This is the very first time in the history ever that I haven't worn socks with a suit on television. Oh my gosh, you really my ankles are naked. Socks. There, I said <laughs> it. It's done. Ooh, I need to get you some odor eaters, my friend. <laughs> we well, don't have socks and shoes. Yeah. I'm okay. sorry. Um, but we're here to talk, though, about a movie that has major Sacramento connections yes. and Dennis Quaid's involved. That's right. Not, awesome. Not happy-go-lucky Dennis Quaid that you're yeah. used to. This is Hannibal Lecter-level monster Dennis Quaid that you get with this I never movie. knew that existed. Uh, the movie is amazing. It's about a couple that work in San Francisco. They buy a house in Napa from this guy who decides he doesn't want to leave the house and he torments them. And I shall not plot spoil further. In fact, it's easy to plot spoil this movie. Michael Ely's in it. Megan Good is in it. Wow. It is produced and written by Dion Taylor what? from Sacramento, California, Woo! which makes it even more awesome. I talked to the two of them about not butt spoiling. Take a look. So good to see both of you. Thank you. <laughs> good to see you awesome too. work in this. It's, it's a pleasure Thank seeing you. you back to normal again. You were under a little duress last time I saw you. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Wait till you're in an audience and you hear people shouting at you. Say, <laughs> don't! No! What are you doing? Especially you. Yeah, so I've heard. So I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> you had to know cool. when you're laying down that scene that that's going to be moments in the movie where people are going, yeah. bad choices. Well, yeah, I think, you know, early on, Dion and I had a lot of conversations where I was like, well, I don't think she would do this because people are going to be like, you know. He's like, no, that's the point. We mm -hmm. want people. Well, this is the moment where we want the girls to go, oh my God, don't do that because and this is the moment we want the guys to go, no, no, no. So the more you leaned into it, the more um, you gave yourself over to it. And that's kind of the fun of it is that we wanted the film to be interactive. What makes the monster even more monstrous is when the people that we try to relate to, this young couple, yeah. the more charming and normal and more we can lean into them as a real couple. And we yeah. do. And what I love about it is that you're, you're kind of, your relationship is slightly flawed. There are yeah. moments in this yes. movie my wife's gonna nudge me and go, that's you, you would do that. <laughs> yeah. And I think a lot of people relate. I'm glad you caught that because we definitely worked hard to make sure that people in the theater could actually relate to this couple. Yeah. And we didn't just come off as this perfectly newlywed couple that you know has everything together. Mm -hmm. and, right. Because nobody can stand that couple, you know what I mean? Right. Like, nobody can really stand that right. very happy or couple fully relate to that them. acts like they don't have any issues. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> There, I mean, had you been a, there are couples I would have wished Dennis Quaid would have walked in and kicked him out of the house. <laughs> I see that too. <laughs> no one will ever accuse totally my true. wife and I of being that irritated couple that's always getting along. Um, you know, and I hear Dennis Quaid plays creepy really well too. I, I'm yeah. telling you, the, you will have nightmares. No matter how jaded you are, you will become ni have nightmares about Dennis Quaid. He is next level movie monster. In yeah. this. Okay, and and I mean, and you've known too uh, our Sacramento connections for yeah, so long. Yeah, Dion Taylor is yes. killing it. And I know you, you and your, your husband, uh, you have a background in film and filmmaking, and so you lean into people that are just crushing it, and mm -hmm. Dion is crushing it. I met him about two decades, going on two decades now, we've been friends, and he's made good movies. This movie is a great movie. We talked. See you, man. I'm so happy Thank for you, you, man. Thank you, man. You look good, too, man. You look, I got to dress up for you. Camera's All right. My friend. Man. Dude, I just gotta come over there, man. I gotta <laughs> tell you, they say a sign of success is when you're as happy for your friend's success as your own. That's and right. Last night when I saw Dion Taylor pop up at the end of this movie, I go, yeah, yeah. that's the way oh, to do man. it. Yes. You got a hit. I hope, man. It's it's, it's playing like it, man. I'm um I'm really excited. I'm I'm more excited about the movie. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. the experience in the movie theater. Like Last night I popped my head in there for a second and I went out and yeah. uh, we had just screened it the night before and I was like, man, people are like screaming and yelling and I said, oh, this is going to be great. Love that dude. Dion Taylor joins us live tomorrow morning on The Morning Blend and True to Play in tomorrow's theaters everywhere. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mark. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 9 right here on SAC. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Sorry, I eat up so much. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.